Team, keep it clean. What's going on, baby? Today been quite a day, hasn't it? I don't know if any of y'all caught it in the first video. I didn't see it in the comment section, but when I was speaking about us being able to finally hear from Lamar Jackson in more ways than one, this is exactly what I was talking about. But I don't even think anybody really caught that. But it's all good. Um, I gotta before we get into it, because I just wanted to give my point of view, my quick little recap of how the whole thing happened and, and really how it was. Um, just to share my personal experience from the whole thing. Um, first, I got to give a big shout out to Nitro. Shout out to Nitro because Nitro, he's somebody, we, 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 we talk on the phone and um, he's good people, man. He, he's good people. He really uh, looks out. Um, he, there's been situations before, like even, and, and, and I told y'all before, when the whole YouTube, the, the whole monetization or demonetization thing happened, um, I talked to him, I talked to my guy JT, I talked to my guy Jason, those, those three were huge in everything, um, as far as people outside of my immediate family, like my wife and my mom and stuff, but, um, they, they, they were huge, they helped me out tremendously, uh, but with Nitro, just some advice that I had got from him, he gave me some significant advice that really helped the situation a lot, as far as my headspace, as far as my mindset, on a lot of what was going on. Um, and then, like I said, everybody else who I talked to as well. Um, but Nitro was a real big part of that, so I got to give him a special shout-out for that. But with this situation, with the Lamar situation, it was another time we was talking on the phone, but y'all y'all know how it all started because originally Lamar had he had tweeted something about the restaurant, and, and Nitro was like, oh, that'd be something if I could. He, he tweeted Lamar, that'd be something if I could record an episode there. And then Lamar hit him back with like, hey, as long as you're getting a plate. And I was like, oh, okay, you ain't got to tell me twice. I'm on it, baby. So he um, he was committed to it. And then we was talking on the phone one day, and he he was like, hey, how far are you from the restaurant? Oh, I, I said, hey, nothing. I'm right up the road, baby. But um, he actually invited me to be a part of that because that's his thing. The whole setup and everything, that was all Nitro, baby. So got to give him the credit. Shout out to him. This dude has been... Grinding on his YouTube channel. And that's where you can find the full interview. It's on his YouTube channel. It'll be down below in the description. I'm sure a lot of y'all have already seen the video already. So that's a good thing. Um, but he, that was all, all him. All him. I didn't have anything to do with setting it up. With orchestrating it. No, nothing. It was all Nitro. And he, he asked me if I wanted to be there too. So again, that's him looking out. He he could have been. He could have easily been like, oh no, especially like this. This ain't just no random person now. This is Lamar. This ain't just no random no anybody. This this is Lamar. Like this is a guy who he just don't. And, and even then, on top of that, like even before that, even before that, like it was a surprise that Lamar was even there because he didn't even know Lamar was going to come through. But when he found out that Lamar was coming through, he wasn't like, oh, all right, engraving, I'm about to leave. He could have, like, left the restaurant and then end up circling back and be like, all right, Lamar, I'm here. He's engraving, go, no, he ain't do none of that. He, he looked out. He looked out. He was like, oh, no, you, no, you, he's, he's coming. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. So I, I just got to give a big shout out to Nitro for, for that, just in general, how he, um, he was just welcoming. He was... Um, he didn't. He he wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna just keep it for myself. I'm gonna keep this this experience for myself. So shout out to that. I just wanted to give y'all the the backstory on that. Um, now with Lamar, Lamar, I've met Lamar before, but it was really really brief. It was really really brief. This time, um, when we were there, before we even turned the camera on, like we were talking with Lamar for about maybe 30, 30 something minutes, just chopping it up, just talking. Talking about everything. And like I always say, man, the, the Lamar that is put out there that you see during, during the pressers, you see Instagram, you see people talk about him and stuff. When they say he's cool, you just chill, dude. Yes, that's, that's him for sure. That's him. And it was actually Lamar. Like we had already recorded the, um, we had already recorded the, uh, the, the, the episode that we did from the restaurant where we were talking about everything, we had already recorded that. That was done. So all of the stuff was packed up. It was packed up. And then Lamar showed up. And Lamar, he was the one that was like, hey, no, get, get, get the equipment out. Let's, let's run, it, run it back. He was like, oh, okay. 
And that was what's up. Like that that's Lamar showing support. And Lamar, he he talked about uh with Nitro with Nitro, excuse me. He 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 loved his channel and stuff. He loved the the, the slaps and all that. Cause you know Nitro going whoosh, whoosh, double slap. Whoosh. You know how he be doing. Um <laughs> So he said he said he had uh he had liked that man that was cool man, and then he talked about how he seen our channel too, um and one of the videos that he brought up was uh when we had when he had met Carter when 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 Carter when we met him at the fun day and stuff and it just it was really cool man to hear it coming directly from him um that he knew uh who both of us were, uh and he had just appreciated uh both of our work so that was uh. It was special. And then um, and any of y'all that follow on Instagram, uh, y'all saw the picture today. I he well, I had FaceTime my wife and um, she gave the phone to Carter. And Carter was talking to Lamar on FaceTime, man. And Carter, they caught Carter off guard because they was at a pizza place. Um, and he was just eating. And all of a sudden, you see Lamar Jackson on, on, on mommy's phone. It was like, whoa. So that it, it caught him off guard. But Carter was chill. Carter was saying what's up to him and stuff. He was pointing out the plates in the background that was on a wallpaper at a restaurant and stuff. Um, but he loved it. And, and she said after, after they hung up, she said Carter was just cheesing me. Because Lamar is like the only person that Carter has ever got starstruck from. Well, actually, you know what? I take that back. Well, no, only person that he's got starstruck from. One time we went to Orlando and Carter saw... Uh, not Mater. What's the other one? Lightning McQueen. He saw the, this the statue of Lightning McQueen when he was a little little kid, and he like he like started like freezing up a little bit, and he's like, "Oh, Lightning McQueen." But um, Lamar is the only person that uh Carter like really been starstruck from. So Carter Carter really likes Lamar too, man. Um, so it was a it was a really cool experience. Like for me, it was a cool experience for me, just me by myself. But then when Lamar was talking to Carter. That made it 20 million times better for me because Carter was involved too. And Lamar, like, when we got on the phone, um, Lamar, when we got on the FaceTime and he was talking to Carter, he was like, oh, you don't remember me? He was like, well, we, 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 we just took the picture together last year. And I'm like, man, you really actually remember Carter like that? I was like, okay, I, I appreciated that. I really did because somebody, you would think somebody, millions of followers, busy, the two hundred sixty million dollar man, you would think, oh, he ain't starting us. So like if you don't know who y'all, you know, like he ain't, of course he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna know me, he ain't gonna know myself. Nah, he ain't gonna know who y'all. Like he, he knows so many people. He talked to so many, he deal with so many people on a daily. But he did. He remembered us. So that was special, man. That like, it it, it was it was super special, man. Um, but to just be able to talk with him directly, um. It was a cool experience, man. Cool experience. Um, and again, he was super chill, super respectful. Um, just cool, man. He was just cool. He was just cool. He and this was obviously before he signed his contract, but he wasn't acting like snooty or nothing like that. He wasn't acting arrogant. He wasn't. He wasn't on none of that. And th there'd be a lot of people who would be. That's why I asked him the question because this is something that. Because this is one of the questions I've been thinking about for a long time. Um, if if I had ever got a chance to ask Lamar directly, like and, and two of the questions I got to ask both of the questions that I have been thinking of for a while. Like one, um, how do you continuously deal with all this hate? Because I know you, because I told him like we see it, and we on the outside looking in. So you know we know you see way more. How do you deal with that? And also the question with, with his notoriety, with his just everything that he has going for himself, how does he remain humble? Because I, I think that it's so important that people do that, no matter how big they are, no matter how much money they got, no matter how, much, how popular they are, whatever accomplishments they got. Having humility, in my opinion, is extremely important because all of that stuff that you have, it can be taken away like that. All of it in a heartbeat. And let in less than a heartbeat It can all be taken away So And and even if you don't have much you, you should never act better than anybody else You should never be cocky Or arrogant or nothing like that You shouldn't be on your high horse That's just That ain't the way to be man In my opinion I, I don't think that's that's ever a good way to be You shouldn't treat anybody any differently Or anything like that So no man I just I ain't never been a fan of, of When people do that type of stuff But um Again, he was uh he was good people, man. He 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 was good people. And I remember too, 
um, when, when, when Nitro was setting everything back up, when Lamar told him, oh, no, get, out the, get, get, get the equipment out and stuff. When, when Lamar told him that, um, Nitro was setting up and there were some technical difficulties. And it was taking a while to get everything going. And Nitro was like, my fault, Lamar, my, my, my bad. Lamar was like, no worries. He's like, we chilling. He said, I'm chilling. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Like, again, this dude was super chill. You would think somebody in his position, oh, man, that equipment ain't ready? No, no. I got to go. I, no, this this taking too long. You know what? No, I'm out. You know, oh, no, y'all, y'all, not, y'all not ready? You know what? I'm, I'm going to get out of here. None of that. He wasn't on none of that, man. So it was just a real special experience, man, that I really, really appreciated. So, uh, again, shout out to Nitro, man. His channel is down below in the description. The video uh, of him and I interviewing Lamar is down below in the description. It's, it's all on, it's, it's on his channel. It's all over there. So y'all go over there and, and show him some love. And I know a lot of y'all have already, which is great. Uh, but now anybody who is still looking for the video, that, that's, that's the way it is, man. So I just had to come on here and just let y'all know about it. We're we going to talk about the press, like, I, but I had to talk about this first. We're going to talk about the presser maybe tomorrow. I done took my notes and everything. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. We're going to talk. We got a lot to talk about, actually, over these next, you know, y'all know how it goes, man. It's, it's so much to talk about, but we're we going to talk about it all. I love y'all so much, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Shout out to Carter and his friend Nico. They out there playing Kirby on the Switch, so they having a good time. So I'm sure y'all heard them in the background a lot. See, there you go. Sometimes I got to listen a little close to see if it's laughing or crying. But that's, that's laughing because I hear Carter yelling and I hear him. He goes, he's still, they, they having a good time. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Lamar won't be for the next five years at least, we out.